Jasper has just released its latest feature called Jasper Art and it looks mind-blowing. It allows you to turn any text that you can imagine into an art piece or an image. Essentially, how it works is you describe an image in which you have in your mind in which you would like to create. You then customize your style based on the type of image in which you would like to create. And then you click generate art and Jasper will create that image for you using AI. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at this feature. Let's actually go ahead and use it and see the type of results in which we can expect to get back from this template and also discuss whether or not it's worthwhile to go out and add Jasper art onto your existing Jasper account or if you don't have Jasper, if it's worthwhile to sign up for a Jasper account and also go ahead and get this art add-on. If you already have a plan for Jasper, then the art add-on is $20 per month. If you don't have a plan for Jasper, then you can get the Jasper Art and Write plan, which is $49 per month. And this gives you the ability to create art and images with AI. So you have Jasper Art included, but you also have 50 plus AI copywriting templates. You also have the option to get any of the regular multi plans of Jasper. So you can get the starter plan or the boss mode plan and you can go ahead and add the Jasper Art add-on for $20 per month. If you want to try Jasper AI for free, I'll go ahead and leave a five-day free trial for Jasper in the description below this video. But once you have a plan for Jasper Art, this is what the template will look like. So you have the basic and you have the free form section. The basic allows you to do a little bit more customization and really be specific when generating your image while free form, all you have to do is give some inputs to Jasper and Jasper will go ahead and create an image for you. Let's go ahead and get started with the basic. In order to get started, you want to go ahead and describe the image in which you would like to create. You want to be as descriptive as possible because the quality of the input in which you give this AI will directly result in the quality of output in which you'll get back um, from your images. So you always want to be as descriptive as possible when you're creating um, any sort of content using an AI copywriter, but you want to be especially descriptive when you're creating images. So for this example, we'll be trying to generate an image of a dog looking intensely at a book with a magnifying glass. Again, I just want to be a little bit more specific. So I'm going to change this to add a page in a book. So again, just be as specific and as descriptive as possible as you can be when you're describing your content. So for this style, I'll go ahead and choose cartoon. For the medium, I'll leave that as none. For the artist style, maybe I'll try Dr. Seuss. For mood, um, let's go ahead and do cheerful. And for keywords, uh, we don't really need any keywords in this specific example here. So let's go ahead and um, create the image and see what sort of image we get back for this input. Okay, so not bad at all. We actually have some pretty cool images here. It was definitely aligned with the instructions or the input in which we entered here on the left hand side. So this is the first image here that we get. Um, we don't really see the magnifying glass here, so not really as relevant, but this one's kind of relevant, but the magnifying glass is sort of coming from the mouth, which, which looks kind of weird. I would say that this is probably the most relevant image in which we got back, but let's go ahead and try some other examples. Let's go ahead and try to generate an image of a man working on a computer in a well-lit office. I'll change the mood to cheerful, and let's go ahead and try a um, realistic photo. Let's go ahead and click create and see what we get back from Jasper. Okay, so this is a lot better and probably the type of image in which you'll be trying to generate, especially if you're a content creator and you need to have an image for your blog post or for your website. These are images in which you would probably be more likely to use. So these are pretty good, but when you go ahead and kind of zoom in on images, we can see that the facial features are kind of off-putting here. They're all pretty good when you look at them from far away, but when you go a little bit closer, you can see that there are some sort of issues with um, the details of the face for these different images. But again, these are a very good starting point for you to get images. But again, it is an AI and it's a fairly new feature, so it's obviously not perfect, but there's a lot of potential here. And this is still a very powerful tool because instead of going out and having to pay a graphic designer to create an image for you or having to go out and buy images from stock photography websites, you can go ahead and use this tool to go ahead and generate unlimited images for your content. Let's go ahead and try another example. This time we'll be trying to get an image for a team having a meeting in a well-lit office looking very hopeful. Again, we're going to keep the style to none, medium to none, artist to none. Uh, we'll change the mood to cheerful and the keywords to photorealistic. Let's go ahead and uh, see the type of output which we get back from Jasper Art. So here's the results in which we got back and again, Looking from sort of far away, it looks pretty good, but I know if I go ahead and click on this again, you can see there's some um, issues within the face um, for these characters. It doesn't really look 
to natural and you probably wouldn't want to go ahead and use this image but let's go ahead and choose this one again images are very creepy looking there um again we're having that same issue here um with the faces so 90 percent of the images in which we're getting back are pretty good but there's just that 10 percent in which we need to improve upon and it looks like it's specific facial features that are sort of um, the issue right now i went ahead and changed the keywords to high resolution let's go ahead and see if that makes a difference so it doesn't really seem to solve the issue. Again, we're still having some distortions within the facial features. There's still some kinks and issues when you generate images of people. I find that when you go ahead and generate graphic images of um, sort of illustrations and things such as paintings or graphic designs, you get really good outputs from Jasper. So I went ahead and tried um, this output, which was the Batmobile at night with fire coming out of the wheels. And I kept all of the customizations to none. And as you can see, we got some really good images here that you can use um, if your blog post is related to this, or if you're creating a Facebook ad, or even if you just wanted to go ahead and paste this on your social media account. Because again, these images are your own, so you can go ahead and uh, post that anywhere in which you would like to. As I mentioned earlier in the video, you have two main ways in which you can generate your image. So you have the basic, which is what we've been using, but you also have the free form. So free form just allows you um, to create content without having to do so much customization. So all you have to do is go ahead and enter the um, description of the image in which you would like and go ahead and click create. So for this output, which was a fishbowl close up mixed media collage with pixel art, we can see we got some really cool outputs here from Jasper. So, so it seems as though Jasper art is really good at creating abstract images and creating fictional images as well. So they've sort of got that part down pat, but there just needs to be some improvement on creating more realistic images in which you would use in a blog post or a Facebook ad. Another cool feature included in the free form template is the ability to allow Jasper to actually generate a random image. So if you went ahead and click this button here, it'll go ahead and um, generate a random image. So if you just want to go ahead and play around with this, or if you didn't really have any ideas for images, you can go ahead and use that function and Jasper will actually recommend an image and then go ahead and create it for you. So again, another really cool feature here. So this is the fun way to start playing around with Jasper Art, but it also shows you how Jasper Art works and the best way for you to input your description to get the best quality images out of Jasper. I went back to the basic template and I was just playing around to see what sort of combinations give me the best outputs. And I found that the 3D render is pretty good. So as we can see, um, for the description of a teenager recording a YouTube video inside a sunny home office, we got some pretty decent uh, 3D rendered images here. So for instance, this one is very cool. Um, you can definitely go ahead and use this um, on a blog, on social media, or on Instagram or whatever medium you're creating content on. If you wanted to use any image, you can go ahead and copy that image. You can go ahead and also download that image or you can take a screenshot of that image. So you have a lot of different ways in which you can go ahead and grab that image and then use it in your content. And as you can see, once you download that image, that's what it looked like on your desktop. Overall, I think Jasper Art has a lot of potential and it's a really powerful integration that's been added by Jasper. I think because it's so new, there are some bugs and kinks that need to be worked out. For instance, you're not able to create very realistic images in which you would use on a blog post, on social media, or on an ad. But Jasper Art is really good at creating abstract images, at creating paintings, at creating cartoons, I hope that you enjoyed this review of Jasper Art. If you want to go ahead and grab a plan for Jasper AI, I'll leave a link below this video. If you like this video, give us a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.